What's up, Road to Riches family? Today, we're going to be talking about an important strategy for long bias traders called the short squeeze. We'll discuss what a short squeeze actually is, how to identify when a short squeeze is actually happening, and I'll give an example of what a short squeeze looks like and how I take profits when in a short squeeze scenario or a breakout. If you're new to this channel, I talk about how to make that bag in the stock market, day trading, stock updates, news, and more. So subscribe if you like making money in the stock market, turn on that notification bell, and smash that like button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so we can all get on the road to riches. So what is a short squeeze now? Imagine this, you got conviction that a particular stock price is going down, so you decide to short sell it. Now I know you're probably asking, what is short selling? Well, it's basically betting against the stock. You profit off the stock going down instead of up. You borrow shares from your broker and you sell them on the market at the current price and you're hoping to repurchase them later on at a lower price to return to the broker and make a profit. But here's the catch. If the stock price goes up instead of down, you might find yourself in a bit of trouble because unlike buying stocks and losing 100%, short sellers can actually lose more than 100% because there's an unlimited upside like a stock going from $2 to $50, which we see at least once every year. So when there's a, a short squeeze happening, a stock price unexpectedly shoots up. It puts pressure on short sellers because they can have unlimited losses. Remember, they have to buy back the borrowed shares to close their position. So in a short squeeze, you got shorts buying to cover their positions and retail traders buying the stock to profit from it going up. This creates a lot of buying pressure causing the stock to skyrocket up. This explosive surge in the stock's price is what we call a short squeeze. It can happen for various reasons like positive earnings, um, positive news about the company, or simply too many shorts just betting against the stock, which we will cover in today's video. Now, before we get into the example, remember, while short squeezes can be exciting for those holding the long position, they could be a nightmare for short sellers caught on the wrong side of the trade. They may face significant losses if they don't close their positions quickly. So keep that in mind. Now, let's get into the example. So TUP stock, we'll just call it TUP, has been going on a tear this week. It's been running with no real news, only interest. I tried to look everywhere, but there's no real catalyst like an earnings result or partnership with a big company. So many shorts have um, been interested because it's running for no reason. And it should have no choice but to go down in many people's mind. Now, another indicator that this stock is a short squeeze is because 25% of their total float is so short. Now that we know there's a significant short interest in the stock and many shorts are running to sell this stock because it's running with no news, we can start going to the chart. Now, if you see here on the 24th, which was a Monday, this stock had its first big green day. Then on Tuesday, it was red. But then after that Tuesday, on Wednesday, we had a big green day with 71 million in volume. Now, some people could have shorted at the end of the session on Wednesday, hoping for a break overnight, but you can see the stock held up in the pre-market and after hours. Now, look at the one minute and intraday chart. You can see the pre-market high as resistance. If we get a run over that pre-market high resistance, we can see a breakout and a short squeeze. We also got support from the low of the day when the stock was dropping out the market open, but sometimes you could get that support line from the pre-market too. When the stock opened up, I didn't trade it because I needed to see how the volume was going to hold up and it was already under VWAP out the market open, so I was cautious. Yesterday uh, was a lot of volume too, which was on uh, Wednesday, TUP had ran down at the market open and went under um, VWAP though. Other than that, on Thursday, I like to see VWAP recoveries because it shows that shorts may be trapped at that level. After we recovered over VWAP, I used my uh, VWAP bounce strategy around 9.43 in the morning. After that VWAP bounce, this stock started surging and broke that pre-market resistance. Now the stock ran up and got a new high at 269. So this is the new resistance and the pre-market high is now support. Pay attention to that. Every time we get a new breakout, that high becomes the new resistance and the old resistance is support. After this breakout, we had a consolidation for about an hour. Then we had a big green candle around 11 a.m. After we got that big breakthrough resistance, it's probably when more shorts were panicking because we reached a new high. 
they probably shorted around that $2.69 area, but the stock never broke VWAP and kept on going down. And they actually had good volume over support from that pre-market high. Now the value did go down from the morning, but if you look at that five minute chart, the value was still relatively good and in the millions or at least over 500,000. Now again, this big run at 11 a.m., we get a new resistance at $3. Now, here it's hard to tell if we're gonna continue getting the breakouts, but there was a good bounce off of that VMA line and you could have used support at 269 or close to it to cut losses. Now we get a fourth breakout over three dollars and a push to three dollars and thirty cents and now that new resistance is at three dollars and thirty cents and three dollar becomes support or your risk level now let's zoom out and recap so from the pre-market high we get resistance breaking resistance is a very bullish sign and is key for long positions after we break that resistance from the pre-market high we get a new high of the day that high of the day is now used as the new resistance and the pre-market high is now support. You can see the stock consolidating over that support from the pre-market high, which you can use as a risk level to cut losses. After that consolidation, we see a big squeeze and a new high of the day. So since we got a new high of the day, we got a new resistance at $3. Then we got another squeeze to $3.30. And now $3 is support and $3.30 is the new resistance. I could have put another resistance at $3.70, but y'all should understand the concept by now. And if you don't, rewind the video a few times to get a better understanding. So again, $3.70 could be used as overhead resist resistance too if the stock runs uh, back up. But a perfect example of support is in the $3 area. We got that support from uh, the earlier breakout. You can see the stock ran to $3.70, but then we had to pull back all the way back down to that $3 uh, support area. When the stock hit that $3, it actually ran to $3.26, which is a good dip buy. So $3 is a key area and it showed good support. Many whole dollar areas are usually key areas as well. Um, but before you leave, remember these key takeaways. When the stock break out, its previous high becomes support and the new high some, uh, with some type of pullback becomes resistance. Pay attention to see if the short percent of the float is high. I noticed that 20% or higher is very key to pay attention to and shows that there may be many shorts in that stock. Short sellers have to buy to cover their positions, which causes a lot of buying pressure and for stocks to surge. Instead of buying low and selling high, short sellers want to sell a stock high and then buy it back at a lower price. So short sellers are the opposite of long buyers. Instead of buying then selling, they sell then buy. Shorts and longs are always at war in day trading and sometimes um, even in the larger cap stocks. Sometimes shorts are more aggressive and this can cause a massive short squeeze like we saw today and in the past week with TUP. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more free game. And I'll see y'all in the next video. If you got any questions, make sure y'all leave it down below. Peace.